Good morning, everybody. I'm Angela Castangue, and I am back for Working Wednesday number three, where our topic will be, I hear voices in my head, phones, or how to self-direct with confidence. It is truly one of the biggest challenges, uh, self-direction. We've finished our coaching sessions. You've finished your script sessions with your producer. You've done your recording session in the studio, and you're all psyched and excited about that. You've attended your teleconferences, and you've written your bio, perhaps even started work on a personal website, and your business plan is in progress. So you get your demos back, you go into your studio, you pull up that audition, so excited, and you record, and you think you sound fabulous. And then you listen back and you say, oh, well, line two sounds a little muddy. Maybe I rushed too much and the tag doesn't sound very exciting. And oh, there's no one here to tell me what to do. The truth is, when you self-direct, it's usually you all by yourself in your home studio with your microphone, which can be very unforgiving in terms of the pops, breaths, and clicks it records, but it really doesn't give you any feedback. So you have to be your own voice coach at this point, and you have to ask yourself some questions. This is an area where analysis of the script comes in. Uh, you have to analyze that script. You have to know what kind of script is it? Is it formal? Is it informal? Should I be saying Rocky Mountains? Or let's keep the mountains blue in a Coors Light commercial. Should I be saying environment for a documentary? Or should I be talking about working towards keeping our environment clean? There are all sorts of questions that you must ask yourself every time you audition in order to feel confident sending that audition off to a prospective client. Pay attention to the vocabulary that's used in the copy and the punctuations that, punctuation that's used, exclamation marks, question marks, ellipsis, creating a pause, all of those things are valuable when you are looking at copy and trying to figure out how to deliver this script so that I get the gig. Another point to think about is what type of product is it? What type of company is it? What is the market uh, what is the target market that this company is going for? Are they trying to uh, entice the millennials? Are they talking to senior citizens? Is it a corporate piece? Is it a casual piece? Are we going to Chipotle for lunch? All of those things make a difference when you're self-directing and listening back to yourself. One of the other techniques that I employ is unless the client indicates otherwise, when I'm auditioning for a spot, I record two or three takes of the same script and I record them with just a little variation between each uh, recording so that if the client doesn't like the first take, maybe they'll like the second or the third. I feel like that can give us a little better chance of being selected because number one, they have choices, and number two, they don't often know exactly what they want until they hear it from us. So that's always a good technique to employ. You've also got to remember that the story is supreme. The story and the copy is what is really important. And your main job is to tell that story in an appropriate way with an appropriate setting. Ask yourself, how believable do I sound? How genuine do I sound? How warm and approachable do I sound? The next thing that you often need to do is slow down. I find myself telling voice talents on a daily basis, slow down. The punctuation is there for a reason. And in normal conversation, we don't often speak that quickly. We are thinking about what we're going to say next, and so we're reflective when we talk to a friend or to a coworker or to a family member. So when you listen back, ask yourself, is that a little faster than it needs to be? Am I giving the audience time to mentally visualize the words I'm saying? And finally, remember 
that oftentimes less is more. Yes, you want to infuse that delivery with plenty of emotion and tension and suspense and invitation and permission, but you don't want to come at your audience like a, a steamroller. You want to power down a little bit and invite them to listen and invite them to participate while they listen. And above all, no matter what, always trust in yourself.